Okay, today I need to put a hole in this block. This is a piece of 2x2. Two two. Get that in the camera. It's a piece of 2x2 two two hot roll that's about 3 inches long. And what I've done, I've gone to the mill and I've center drilled on location where I want this hole to be. Now this hole's blind. So, and it's going to be an inch and three eighths in diameter, and uh, that's why I want to try to do it on the lathe instead of the mill. I think it'd be a whole lot easier on the uh, on the lathe. So, we're going to use the four jaw chuck, <clears throat> and I've already got the jaw set pretty close, I think. <clears throat> so, we're just going to set our part in here, and if you'll notice, that one jaw is way off center from the rest. So I'm just going to lay this part in there. Then I've got some protective pieces of aluminum I want to try to put in here so I don't mess up the, you know, my final jaw marks left in my part when I'm done. This might be a little bit tricky. I'll put that in there like that. Alright, so now I need to indicate that hole in. And I suppose if I wanted to, I could put a uh, test indicator in there and uh, indicate it just straight off that hole. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, like a, what I'm going to call a, a wiggle bar. This is a piece of 3 8 drill rod. It's been center drilled on one end. And it's got a 60 degree point turned on the other end. And uh, the uh, center drilled end is going to go on the tailstock <clears throat> with a live center, or just a center, doesn't even need, doesn't need to be a live center, but a center. So we'll run the tailstock up here. We'll go ahead and stick this in here. Run that up there like that. And we'll just let the weight of the hand wheel run against it. Now, you see how that wobbles around? That'll give us something to put an indicator on. So we'll take our indicator. Set it on here. Now, the closer you can get to this, the better off you are. So we can get to about right there, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me uh, reposition the camera. Okay, as I was saying, so you can see it's got, you know, quite a bit of run out, probably 100,000 total indicator or so. So we'll kind of bottom, bottom it out there and set our zero. So it looks like about 50 is going to be about zero. So we'll just set it to zero there. So we'd ought to go about 50 one way, 50 the other way. So let's see where we're at. Looks like we need to loosen that jaw there a bit. So we'll loosen that. We'll tighten this one. Let's get this other one that's pretty bad. Looks like we need to tighten that one. So we'll loosen that one. Tighten that one. Loosen. And tighten.
pretty good that way. I'm going to recenter this indicator on that rod. See, on that high spot. Run that up there. That's zero. We're about 12. And we're going to set that on the 90. We're about 10 and 10. I think we need to tighten this one and loosen this one. Pretty close. Tighten this one a bit if we can. That's pretty close. That's probably within half thousand. So now we have got our lay spindle running true <clears throat> with that center drill that I put in there. So now we can just go ahead and uh, machine us a hole in there. So I won't bore you with that. 